Pierre Lawson, aka Gangster Wall Street, here with a quick video here for you guys. Um, seen a couple of questions of uh, some newbies that want to know what's the difference between a day trader, swing trader, a long term investor. And so I'm going to just go over a quick video here, try to pull out the whiteboard for you guys. First time using this one. But uh, it's basically going to explain you the difference between a day trader, a swing trader, and a long term investor. And you know, which one is going to fit your lifestyle. And one of the things on my journey about trading, I discovered that trading is very personal. It really depends on you, you know, who you are as a person and, you know, the dynamics of your family structure and how you can fit it in your lifestyle. So this exercise is going to help you to identify which one, which category is going to best fit your lifestyle. And then you just got to start to get more experienced and maybe you'll be able to incorporate all of the different strategies, which I do myself. I do some day trading, I do swing trading, I got investments. And so all of it helps. But when you're starting out, you need to focus, you know, on one category at a time until you understand those, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, just mastering each uh, session, each part before you go to the next. And so uh, let's just talk about it here. Let me, uh, if you can see this whiteboard here. So we start off with uh, day traders, swing traders. And then long term investors. Okay. All right. And so this is basically the difference between the, 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 the three of them here. So for day trading, basically, day traders, they're looking on smaller time frames. Okay. And they're looking on smaller time frames, uh, like the one minute chart, the five minute chart. And their goal is to make money on the day that they get in the trade. So, say if I get in the trade right now, I need to be able to get out of it before the market close, right? So if I go in and get out of it and make my money, that's it. Now, ideal situation for day traders are people who don't have to work morning shift. If you got a job, you don't have to work morning shift. Or if you don't have a job, you can day trade, right? Because you need to be able to watch the, the charts uh, throughout the day. You need to be able to watch them. Uh, you cannot carry your position overnight. So that means you need to get in and out. You need to have focus on the charts and you need somebody who can watch the charts probably like what you see on tv right so that's ideal for day traders another thing about day traders is if you need twenty five thousand dollar account okay uh you're going to need a twenty five thousand dollar account before you can even, you know get involved in that without you know being penalized and you can perform a couple of day trades like three that's the, 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 the rule that we have you can do three of them per week but that's it or unless you have a twenty five thousand dollar account and so just keep that in mind, you're going to need 25K if you want to be a day trader and you don't need to be working no job uh, if you want to day trade. Okay. And then swing traders, uh, swing traders, they're looking on a bigger time frame than what day traders looking at. So they're looking at uh, daily charts and some intraday charts, like a 30 minute chart, and mainly daily chart and a 30 minute chart, just a bigger time frame. They're not worried about the little smaller little uh, nuances of the market looking at a bigger trend okay uh swing traders uh you know they hold the positions overnight so with swing traders uh you get in today you might not cash out until two days from now uh five days from now could be 10 days from now right but uh, typically you don't hold on trades over 30 days the swing traders normally hold on their trades for like a month or so you know max pretty much so anytime you know any anywhere between two, two days to like a month uh, that's what swing traders do. Now, this is ideal for people who work, you know, uh, if you have a job, you don't, you don't have the time to uh, allocate a lot of your time into looking at the charts through the day. And swing traders, uh, it, it requires less maintenance. You know, you don't have to watch the charts all through the day. You just need to be able to check on your positions on a daily basis, sometime throughout the day or at the end of the day, just to track your positions at the health of your positions. So swing trading gives you the flexibility. It's really uh, suitable for people that work and you're not able to trade full time at this time. Uh, that's the one that I would recommend is the swing traders, swing trading style for you. Uh, long term investors, this is more, you know, again, this is like bird eye view of the markets. Instead of looking at the smaller time frames like the one minute, five minutes, like the day traders or the 30 minute or daily charts like the swing traders. You know, you're looking at weeklies and monthly charts, so a bigger time frame. And you're holding on to these positions for months to years, right? So anytime, you know, months over years that they're holding on to these uh, trades, what's well, the long term growth? OK, so that's like the difference between those three. 
And if you look at on a scale, let me see if I can draw something up here for you guys. If you're looking on a scale of aggressiveness, because again, you know, how fast are you looking to grow your money? And that's what we mean by aggressive. So on a scale of aggressiveness, you know, you also have to have conservativeness, which is the opposite of aggressive. Okay. But depending on your needs for what you're trying to do, you'll be able to determine which one fits your style better than others, right? So day traders, that's a very aggressive style. That means that, you know, you can aggressively make money. I mean, you make money fast. I mean, the same way you make, the same way you lose it. So that's why I call aggressive. You can win or lose fast. I mean, that's pretty much it. Nothing slow about day trading. All right, so that's what we call aggressive. You know, if you need some fast growth with your money, day trading, that's, you know, that's where you want to be. Now, most people want fast money, and I understand that it sounds good, but once you get in the markets, you'll be able to understand uh, the dynamics, how it works. Again, as I described the criteria earlier, you don't meet those criteria, then day trading is not for you. Okay. Uh, long term investors is conservative. All right. But that's more slow. You know, you're not making money fast, you're making money slow. And if you lose money, you lose the money slow. So it's a real good dial back for you, you know, to kind of help balance out. But these are more of your, you know, just long term growth things. You know what I mean? Uh, like your 401ks, your IRAs, and things like that. And if you had a stock buyer that's doing a long term growth as well, then you understand that it's more ideal for you to have a big account size as well because you're holding on to these assets, uh, you know, with non, you know, non realized gains and wins, uh, gains and, and losses on them. And that just means that you have to cash out on them. There, there are your gains on your account, but you haven't felt them. But in order for you to really make money off of buying stocks and holding them, you need, you need quantity. You need uh, lots of quantity. You need to buy them by the hundreds and the thousands. And so, ideally, most investors starting out don't have that kind of capital. But uh, if you do, then it's definitely a good idea to to do so. You know what I mean? Uh, buying one stock, you know, two stocks, five stocks is just not enough with the gains that you need to see. Uh, the gains are really small, two percent, three percent, and stuff like that. So the percentages are smaller. So that's why I said it's ideally you have a bigger account size. And you just need that steady growth. You know, you're not looking to grow real quick, but you, you're just looking for that long term steady flow. And this is where you want to go at. So, long term investors, that's that. Swing traders, uh, this is middle of the road here. You know, it can be aggressive, it can be conservative. It's just, you know, so it's, it's a nice balance what you get with swing traders, uh, being a swing trader. And so you have some aggressive moves that you can take advantage of, and you have some more conservative moves uh, that you can take advantage of. And so uh, that's why I would categorize these here. So depending on your account needs, if you need some fast growth, then day trading is where it's at. These are slow terms, just slow, slow and steady, conservative, that's long term investors. And then uh, middle row swing traders, it gives you a little bit of both, you know, it gives you a nice mixture. So again, uh, day traders. And they make their paychecks daily, you know. Swing traders make their paycheck weekly, you know. Uh, conservative, uh, long-term investors, you know, you're talking years down the road, you know, you're not even cashing out on these things, you just hold them, buy and hold is what they call them. So, just, uh, yeah, I just say buy and hold. And that's what long-term investors, that's what their, their game is. And these are the buy and hold guys. The day traders, these are the pump and dump guys. <laughs> pump and dump. The pump and dump guys. And the swing traders, uh, I think this is a sweet spot, man. These are the, um, you know, these are the pimps. <laughs> I'm going to call it the pimps. I don't know another name. Let me say the pimps. Because, you know, we might wine and dine and treat you, but we don't love you for the long time. We love you this week. Drop you off the next week. We'll come back and see you a month later. You know, that type of deal. So anyway, that's just a little humor here for you guys.
but yeah, just you know, and and before I leave out here, I do want to show you like what you need to be looking at on the charts and stuff too. So let's see if we can uh, put this in there. Hold my whiteboard. And I just show you like what you need to be looking for when you are uh, whatever one you choose that you want to uh, go to, you know, which one you want to work in. All right, so I'm pulling up a chart. All right, so you guys should be able to see this here. And oh, got a water bill. Okay. All right, so uh, going to a smaller time frame, so I'll show you what uh, day traders are looking at. And this is the type of stuff day traders are looking at, one minute chart, all right? When you're a day trader, you need to train your eyes to look at these smaller time frames. All right, so you see I got a one minute chart that's there. Ideal for day traders, you know, get in here, cash out right there, you feel me? Uh, that's what they do. Or if you're shorting, you know, you want to short right there, cash out right there. All right, this is all the day. And you see, this is my time indicators down here to let you know the time. But this is all today. See the times. So that's why being a day trader, you need to look at this stuff all through the day. If you can't do that, then being a day trader is not for you. It's not going to work. All right. And being a swing trader, the daily chart, this is what you know swing traders need to be focused on I got a few minutes here all right you can see that just look at the time as I got down here got a couple of days on this right so again you could take a little heat throughout the days because it's really over the the, the time you know what I'm saying over a longer period of time so I want to get in and short this one here so I just ride it all the way down so they hit you know the support level here, then I cash out. And you can look at that duration. That's from that's a week right there. That's basically a week. Okay. So that's what day traders are pretty much looking at. And then your long term investor, you know, you definitely you're looking at like a week, you know, bird eye view, weeks or monthly charts. Right. And so you can hold on, you can take those little small dips and ups and downs over you know uh, the duration of time, right? But so ideally what you want to do is, you know, uh, if you look on the time charts here, we got 2017 here, 2016 here, 2015 right there. OK, so that's your time frame. As you can see here, uh, once the markets went down, let's just take it back here to like February 16 off of this bounce here. That would be your entry point. All right. You'd have held that off for the whole year because you see steady growth. All right. So you're not even worried about the news. You're not worried about presidential elections and all the other crazy stuff because over time you're gonna make your money, all right? But once you start to get that turnaround, right? So you'll probably exit right here at this part here when you start seeing all that. You start seeing the indicators telling you, okay, you need to get out, and then you just reinvest right here, boom, at the crossover, and then, bing, you'd have been out of here last month, right? When it hit those highs. And then you enter your next entry. Again, this is you know more of the long-term investors approach to this game that we do. And so all of them work, you know what I mean? Uh, I use all of them, and so that's why I would say, you know, it just depends on your need, you know, and your capabilities. You're just starting out. I'm sure, most people don't have at least twenty-five thousand. Uh, for that reason, I recommend swing trading as a, a great base to start. You know, um, other than that. Uh, that's going to conclude our session that we got here on the styles, you know, so this will help you to make your decision on what kind of investor you want to be. Uh, for any other information you guys have out there, just hit us up on uh, wallstreetjackboys.com. You can send an email at info at wallstreetjackboys.com, or you can uh, check us out on Facebook, join the group, uh, subscribe to our Twitter feeds, and uh, what else? we got Instagram feeds and Facebook, everything else. But definitely, I hope you guys enjoy us here. Uh, other than that, man, peace and love.